right, everybody. It is Sunday night, September the 19th at 8.06 at night. And we're headed out to a no-cooling call. Uh, you know, I told them if they could wait till in the morning that the service uh, fee was much, much cheaper. And she said, absolutely not. It is extremely hot in their house. And they were willing to pay. They were willing to pay. Whatever my service fee was, I told him what it was. My service fee is very expensive on a Sunday night at 8.07 at night. And she said she didn't care. She said, come on and fix it. So that's what we're going to go do. And we're going to try to take you guys along for it. Okay. We have no display on the thermostat. I don't see any water in the pan. Carrier furnace. No water. Looks like we have a receptacle for the furnace. kills it that kills it brings it back on okay start doing some troubleshooting all right guys we got a helicopter situation here but I checked uh, you can see we have high voltage coming to the unit but the thermostat was blank. There's no batteries in the thermostat. I checked, I checked between common and red and we had 24 volts. So what I did is, if I can find it, here it is. I made me a little jumper and I can't do all this with one hand and I went from red to yellow I went from red to yellow with my jumper and I could hear the refrigerant start flowing and I could hear the uh, and obviously the blower came on but let me see if I can I ain't going to be able to do it Y'all just gonna have to listen. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but the outdoor unit's running. And I'm sure y'all can hear that. So I pulled the jumper off. was running I heard the refrigerant flowing so it's like we just got a bad thermostat I'll make sure we're getting power down below and we don't have a break in the wire or something like that um, I really I don't think we do they're breaking common with the float switch and as you can see there's no water in the pan there's no water in the pan here we'll uh, make sure this float switch is not stuck All right, we're gonna put it back together and then we're gonna go check power downstairs and change out the thermostat. Well, we got the thermostat changed out. Couldn't film it because of the helicopter, but I'll tell you what, for as hot as it is in that house, the air is not very hot coming out the top of that unit. Builder's model carrier, three ton from 2014. Yeah, I might have to throw some gauges on here. Hey guys, I'll make this short because I'm having to keep my truck light on the film. But uh, 
So we had a pretty good helicopter situation, some very nice Asian people, and the Asian daughter actually followed me in the attic and uh, was watching everything I was doing. So I got as much film as I could. Uh, the discharge air out the top of the condenser wasn't as hot as I expected it to be, so I did throw the quick gauge on there. You guys know I have, I have those little quick stub gauges just to check the suction pressure real quick because she said it was cooling great before the thermostat went out. So I had no reason to suspect that the system was low on gas. So I threw the stub gauge on there and the suction pressure looked fine. It was about 130 something or right at 140. So, and the, the air was, I mean, it was good and warm. It just, I expected it to be a little warmer than it was, but it's good to go. And by the time I did my ticket, you know, my invoice and all that, I went walk back in the house and you could definitely feel that it was cooling off. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not the best video in the world, but it's better than no video. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.